There's two final questions. One is concerned with your technique and your love to do watercolors, or and uh, and also your concentration on that on that technique. And the second, uh, uh, but okay, let's start. Let's okay. first address the the question of the watercolors. This is your favorite media. You love to work with that. So why? Well, it's the one I identified with first and most. I I think I started maybe with ink. And I liked ink because it was very black and white, but I felt like I needed to add color. But for, most, for the most part, I liked the way that it soaked into the paper. I paint on the floor on my knees. I can't paint with the uh, canvas upright because it will drip, um, which I have stood things up and let them drip down, but only for an intentional look. Um, I like watercolors because they they stain things and it's very intimate. I feel like there's like a relationship where I have to sit and I have to watch the water drying and, and as it moves and it spills. And I'm fighting also with my two cats that like to run in and out of the room. There, there's a whole um, relationship going on. And I liked it to be very quiet, and I paint, you know, at the very last hours before sunrise. That's when I'm most creative. But it also gives you uh, an impression uh, of delusion. It gives you something vague, more silent, mm -hmm. uh, more sensit sensitive. The way you use the watercolors. If, um, you know, I got the feeling when I looked at it, it is like you look uh, in a kind of melancholic way. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a kind of even romantic way to the subjects? I would say it's very romantic. I mean, I think that that's, and that's a strangely mm -hmm. single-handedly defined word sometimes, you know, romantic. It seemed, romantic to me is dark. It is fatal. It is all these things. Um, a lot of times, why I like to use a large palette, and it's um, the one that I use that's my favorite is this Alice in Wonderland tin kit that's mm -hmm. very much out of date, and it has a greater spectrum and a lot of pastel colors, you know, very uncharacteristic of the subject matter that I choose. But I like to, rather than doing black and white harsh shadows, I'll use colors for shadows. and. Mm -hmm. I don't really have an explanation for my technique as far as I don't know how I came about the technique as far as um, what I'll do is I will paint something and I will stand over it and I'll take a picture of it so I can see the depth mm -hmm. and um, that's really my only way of creating dimension because when you paint on your knees in this the format that I paint which is about you know three feet tall it's um, it's hard to tell perspective so I use, uh, well now I use my iPhone, it's easier. But I had Polaroids until they stopped making them. Okay, so, <laughs> so my last question is about your relation uh, to David uh, Lynch and Lynch's work as this show deals with his uh, early videos and mm -hmm. your watercolors. So what is fascinating, uh, if you look at uh, David Lynch, I think you even played mm -hmm. in a movie of Lynch. Lost Highway, yes. The Lost Highway, and, uh, but if you look at it artistically, well, he's always been uh, just artistically, regardless of him as an installation or a painter or uh, someone who puts his art somewhere other than in a film. Just simply as a filmmaker, I, I've seen him as an overwhelming inspiration as an artist. Um, Blue Velvet was the very first movie that I really attached myself to emotionally, and I thought it was, um, you know, just besides the color palette, besides the um, the use of film speed, and the combination of sexuality and violence, and sound, mm -hmm. and uh, close-ups. I think cinematography-wise, just brilliant. Uh, when I got to meet him, he's he's a very unusual guy. I mean, he would say the same thing about me, I'm sure. So he, you're, yeah, he did. Yeah, of course. Okay. So you were happy with the, with the show and the combination? Oh, uh, it couldn't, I mean, it couldn't be a greater compliment to be alongside someone as a great inspiration to me as him. Uh, I think that he's, he is undefinable as an artist. I mean, he's most notable as a director, but he's undefinable in that 
I feel like he can do anything. I mean, when I first uh, went to his home, mm -hmm. he had some sort of carcass nailed to a giant door of sorts, and it was in the process of making, and he showed it to me, and I was just astonished by just the, the whole experience. The flies, the wine that we were drinking at his kitchen table. It was, very, it was like having, it was like in the middle of uh, some very quaint movie about the Midwest, and we were sitting drinking wine, no air conditioning, it was very hot, there were flies buzzing around the carcass. And I thought, this is, this is David Lynch, this is beautiful. I think people who come to see the show will also be astonished when no. they see you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.